Design your own templates in Fundy Designer and then use the V11 design wizard to automate your template designs, whether it be album, wall art, or cards. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We'll start with a wedding album. So some of the things that you might want to do is set your spacing to be bigger. So let's go ahead and set the default spacing to be 0.2. And we'll notice the spacing will increase between the images. Additionally, you can scroll through the designs and maybe there's some design concepts that you're not a fan of. You can just delete those designs and they'll be removed from your template coming up. And just to give you an example of the power, let's go ahead and uh, let's make the background color black. And then let's go ahead and make a white stroke. And let's set the stroke width to four. And let's hit OK. Right. And so now we have a black background. All the images have a white stroke. And this maybe this is the style that you want to offer your clients sometimes. It looks great with an all black and white album, for example. Once you have this album set, you will go to the export menu and click save as design set. We call our templates design sets because they're more of a concept of a design because of the auto design algorithm. Click Save as Design Set. I'm going to say black and white key line for the name of the set. And then I'm going to put wedding because the type I want to add. Now that's a design concept. So when I open the design wizard under style, uh, you will see my black and white key line designed with a nice little preview. So that's how to do it with a wedding album. Let's take a look at cards. So cards, there are a ton of templates. Let me just show you some of the templates and you can always download more card templates right here under the design library. Click download card designs and there are a ton of templates. Let's let the previews load in. Here you can see all of the card templates we have, right? It just goes on and on. And remember you can filter to just thank you cards, for example. What we recommend is choose a template that you like, and then you can change the template to fit you know, your needs. And then especially on the back, you can swap out this default logo to be your studio logo. In the program, you have images here, patterns, and then PNG. So you can drop any PNG into Fundy Designer, and then it's always there ready for you. And then you can put in your website name and then your phone number, etc. Now, Vanessa Joy will include a ton of free cards with all of her clients so that they are doing advertising for her. And even if you charge for cards, be sure to put your logo and all your business information on the back because your clients will then advertise for you. Once you have that, again, under the export menu, Save as design set and maybe do a pattern. My thank you one, right? And then I'm going to say thank you. And this will be important because you can filter by thank you cards, save the date cards, etc. And that tag in the future will let you auto design multiple cards at the same time. So you can choose thank you as the kind of card and it will design every thank you card template that you have. So let's go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and jump into a portrait album, right? So remember that uh, seniors are, are obviously portraits, family portraits, but engagement shoots are also portraits. So, you know, this is a template we created a while ago. Let's go ahead and change this to uh, 2024. Um, you know, if you're shooting in the spring, it's already 2025. And you can change to your local high school. And then again, on the back, the same thing, you know, swap out your studio logo and then change the text of the, the website, etc. And then we can save that. And then additionally with wall art, we can do the same. So wall art is a classic design set because it's not a template of just one room. It's a set of all of these rooms. So if you have 
10, 12 wall art layouts you always sell, you can save all of those as a design set. And then with a click of a button, it will auto design a version of that for you, for your client. So you're going to save a ton of time with wall art. Now I have used the designs that sell template set, which is great. Um, it's made with all regular sized canvases, metals, et cetera, 16 by 20s, 20 by 30s, right? All of your standard sizes, but maybe you don't like this set. And then, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that room. And then, you know, maybe you don't like uh, this room. It's too plain for you, for example. So you can swap things out, change some sizes. Remember, if you want to know what size the canvases are, at any point you can hit the S key and it will show you the sizes right there. So that's a little cheat sheet S key. And then also if you want to know the file name, uh, you can hit the N key, right? So some great cheats right there. So let's go ahead and hit the S key and turn that off. And then let's go ahead, save as design set and say my studio collections, right? And here wall art as the type. And then you can also choose the design preview you want in that design set. So that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and hit save there. Now let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to click design wizard and here, let's just see, right? So here's my black and white key line, um, wall layout, uh, my studio collections that I created. I also misspelled collections. And then for cards, again, uh, the thank you card, right? So you can choose your thank you card, uh, my thank you right there. Remember, so the design wizard can use pre-built templates. It can choose the regular auto album, which is just the classic photo album, or it can use any template that you create in the software and save as a design set. So we're happy to give you this power in the design wizard and let you make it yours.